Hi! Every day, do you go to school? When you go to school, how do you get there? Do you walk? Do you take a bus? Do you drive with your parents? How do you get to school? The way you get to school or go anywhere is called transportation. This video is about transportation. We're going to talk about all the ways you can go somewhere. All the different kinds of transportation. We would just walk alone Without transportation We could not move a long way Without transportation It would take us much longer to get to places We have transportation for thousands of years Transportation makes life easier Transportation. What is transportation? Transportation is what moves people or things from one place to another. For example, without transportation, we would just have to walk. So transportation is other than walking, how can you go somewhere? Because without it, it would take us so long. That's what he's telling us. That's what Bulky Jr. is saying. It's going to take so long to go anywhere unless we use transportation. So what does Bulky Jr. recommend for transportation? Do you see what Rapta did? She rode a bike. That is a form of transportation. We cannot live without transportation because it helps us get places so much faster. So to summarize, transportation is a way we get from one place to another. And it's helpful because it means we can move so much faster. So instead of walking somewhere and it being really slow or having to stay at home, we can use transportation. Keep thinking of the question I asked you at the beginning. What kind of transportation do you use to get to school? Or what kind of transportation do you use to go to your friend's house? There's lots of options for transportation. So next, we'll talk about some of them. Buses, trains, subways, and cars are transportation. People use transportation every day. When people go to school or work, they use transportation. When people go shopping or traveling, they use transportation. Trucks, trips, What are the different kinds of transportation? Let's talk about that. All the different kinds of transportation. There are buses, you know buses. Trains and subways and cars. Let's see what Bulky Jr's on. He's on the subway, right? And Blossom, she's in a car right here. So when people go to work or school or the shopping mall or traveling, they use transportation. Do you see here, what have we got? We've got trucks, planes, and ships. So they use planes and ships for sending things, transporting things all the way around the world. Do you see here's a ship here? Oh yes, that's what he's showing. So what are some different kinds of transportation? Let's review. There are cars. You see cars every day in the city. And there are buses. Buses can hold a lot of people. 
And there are also subways which go underground. And there are planes which go all around the world. And ships which use the ocean to go long distances as well, all around the world. So many different kinds of transportation. I think that I take the bus the most because it's the most convenient for me. What's the most convenient type of transportation for you? You can think about it. Transportation needs are always changing. The speed of transportation is getting faster. Now, let's talk about the needs of transportation. So, what does transportation need? Transportation's needs are always changing, always changing. For example, the speed of transportation is getting faster and faster. Bulky Jr. is showing you it's getting so much faster. And what else is changing? Well, the variety of transportation is also changing. Do you see what Raptong is showing you? So many different kinds of cars, different kinds of buses, and planes. Planes are faster than they were. They're getting faster and faster. And even cars are changing. Cars have different shapes and sizes that they did even recently. Transportation is always changing. You might remember from a few years ago, all cars were maybe a different style. Now we're even starting to see electric cars which are a different kind of car. Maybe you've been on a plane and you can see how fast they can go. Or maybe you've seen little ships, little boats, and big ships. The point is, there's so many different kinds of transportation and they're all changing so fast to be faster and bigger and to transport you more quickly. Let's review some of the words we talked about in this video. We talked about planes, trains, and ships. Let's say them together. Say them after me. Planes, planes, trains, trains, and ships, ships. So what are planes? Do they go on the road or do they go in the sky? They go in the sky, exactly. And what about trains? Do they go in the ocean or on the land? Exactly, trains go on the land. So where do ships go? Do they go in the water, in the ocean? Or do they go in the sky? That's right, ships go in the water, in the ocean or on rivers. Now you know about ships and trains and planes. Repeat after me, ships, trains, and planes. All right, so I asked you at the beginning of the video, what kind of transportation do you use to go to school every day? Now you've seen the video. Do you walk to school? Do you ride a bike? Do you take a bus? How do you get from home to school? And at the end of the day, back home again. That is transportation.